to everyone in this video we will see how we can give a youtube live of a webinar conducted in google meet platform when we conduct international and national webinars one of the main aspects we look into is how many participants we can accommodate into the platform google meet permits a maximum of 100 participants for normal accounts and if we have a g suite account it accommodates a maximum of 250 participants if there are more participants than the limit allowed by the Google Meet account, what we can uh, do is we can give a YouTube live of the webinar and the remaining participants can view the live streaming. And if there are any queries uh, from the side of the participants, they can post it in the uh, YouTube uh, live chat. So that will be a convenient method uh, for conducting webinars, both national and international. In this video, we will see uh, uh, how we can give a YouTube live of uh, a webinar conducted in Google Meet platform. Uh, we are using a free and open source software called OBS, Open Broadcasting Software. This OBS is a video recording software and also it can be used for live streaming. This OBS is a streaming software and that will be connecting Google Meet and YouTube. So that is the procedure. We have to connect uh, Google Meet uh, to the YouTube live with the help of OBS, which is a streaming software. I, in, the, in the first part of this video, I will be giving a short description about the OBS and also how to set it up for live streaming. And the second part, I will be discussing how to connect it with the YouTube live streaming. So uh, that is the procedure and how first of all let us see how we can uh, download OBS and uh, set it uh, up for YouTube live streaming. First of all let us type OBS download and then uh, we will get a download page. So there we will see a download OBS studio page. We can select the device we are using, the, you have to download the installer for the device which we are using. After downloading the appropriate installer, uh, do the installation procedures and then after that we will go to the OBS studio. So I will be showing OBS This is the OBS window and uh, first of all let us see the settings. Here in the file tab you can see the settings. Uh, in the settings page, in the settings page we will see general, stream, output, audio, video, hotkeys, advanced etc. Uh, what we have to do is first of all let us go to the output. You can set the bitrate as 2500 kbps and then audio bitrate as 128 that will be a convenient mode and then uh, there are settings available for audio video uh, for the video we can take the resolution as 1366 by 768 for base resolution or canvas resolution and also for output resolution you can say select the same one you can select the uh, ratios from this uh, point this uh, this downward button to setting up you can press the button apply and then ok so that will be the settings part and then after the settings part we will see what is this window uh, what are the things uh, we what we see in this window this is the frame whatever things we place here will be uh, uh, live streamed for first of all what we have to do is we have to create a scene a scene is uh, everything what we see here uh, uh, so first of all let us create a scene already I am using a scene that is why the num this scene name appears here if we are using it for the first time there will not be any scene name uh, here so first of all we have to create a scene for creating a scene plus add button plus sign so when we press the plus button you will see a scene name it will be giving a default name if you want to give a different name uh, you can uh, use a different name and then click OK. When we press OK, uh, that scene will appear here. So it is a name of a scene. You can create uh, many scenes for your purposes. For example, if you want to give a live streaming, you can create a scene. If you want to record a video for your classroom teaching, you can create another scene. So the scenes are different uh, uh, type of layouts uh, appearing here. 
so i am going to give a i am going i am i am creating a youtube scene here and after creating a youtube scene select the youtube stream you uh, select the scene so that scene will be appearing in a bold blue uh, box after that we come here the sources sources are the objects we place here objects can be like a webcam uh, the pictures collected by a webcam or an image or a video or a window anything you can place here so whatever play we place here that will be appearing here if we place an emblem of your institution it will be appearing here so whatever thing we place it here that will be uh, recorded or live streamed so first of all let us click a new source add a new source for that press uh, the plus button when we press the plus button we will see a list of things we can add here uh, first of all let us uh, uh, let us add a window capture so window capture means any window which is open open will be appearing if you are keeping it closed it will not be appearing first of all we have to keep a window open before uh, or, or using op obs so keep the window open i have already kept a window open therefore that window will be appearing for the purpose of youtube live we don't want anything like this and we have a we have to go for a window capture click the window capture and uh, you can give a name for the window that is i am giving a name called uh, google meet and then click ok so then i can see the window google meet window here if you are not getting it by uh, default you have to search the window here uh, the if there are more windows open you will give a, uh, that will give a list of uh, windows already open and uh, i have kept two windows open that is why i am getting these two windows and i am selecting this meet window and i have already got it as default if you are not getting it default you have to search the window the appropriate window here and then click ok so once we click ok this window will be appearing here but it will can be transformed you can you, you can move uh, it to any place but we want to fix it we want to place it completely into the frame so you have to what you have to do, uh, do is so i have a, a scene created so here i have a scene created here and also a window a source created here so once the source is created uh, i have uh, i got this window the google meet window here and but i have to fix it for that we have, we have to do is uh, right click over the uh, over the source right click over the source and then click transform uh, then you can you will see fit to screen so press fit to screen and then the window is uh, completely uh, overlaid over the frame and then what we have to do is you don't want to change the frame so that you can lock it so once you lock it that will be kept there without any disturbance so these are the things you have to remember uh, create a scene uh, choose the source that is a google meet as the source then it to transform it to fit to the window and then click the lock button then this will be this is ready for live streaming after keeping this ready for live streaming you have to go to youtube so that is the next step youtube so, so after keeping obs ready for live streaming you go to your channel and then uh, go to youtube studio and then you can see go live and upload video here you have to click the go live so uh, remember if you are using youtube channel for the first time you have to uh, you have to verify the account and uh, so that is a procedure uh, if you click uh, go live that will ask for a verification and uh, if since i have already verified and i am using this channel uh, i will not see any message like this if you are using it for the first time there will be a window appearing as verify your account so you have to do some verification procedures after the procedures it will take around 24 hours that is around one day to complete the verification process 
so that if you want to give a live stream you have to uh, set the you have to keep uh, you have to do the verification process well before the live streaming that is an important aspect we have to see if it is a verified account you can give you live uh, youtube live at any time uh, after clicking go live you can see uh, three different tabs here uh, click st stream then when you click stream uh, you will see something like this and uh, there will be a key called uh, stream key scroll down and find the stream key if the stream key will be hidden it will cannot be viewed because any person with this key can uh, go live in your into your channel uh, for live streaming you have to copy the uh, stream key copy it and then come back to our obs studio so come coming back to the obs studio and then go to file settings and then you click you will see a stream tab there and click stream in the stream tab you will see a stream key and uh, already i have kept a streaming key here so you delete it if uh, if you are using it for the first time there will not be any key you have to paste it so paste the key and then click apply click apply and ok so now it is ready for streaming and uh, uh, the obs is ready for streaming you have you have connected you to you have connected google meet with your youtube channel by copying the live streaming key into the obs live streaming uh, software now it is ready this obs is ready to live stream before uh, starting live stream you have to check the audio uh, for checking audio uh, you have to uh, go to the audio mixer so next to the sources you will see uh, audio mixer tab click it and that will display the number of uh, audio devices connected into your computer so if you have many devices connected with the audio inputs so that will be appearing here so we don't want every every device uh, every audio put into the live streaming so we want only the desktop audio that means the google meet audio we don't want any external audio uh, from our computer into the youtube live we don't we want only the we want only the desktop audio so so that uh, we have to limit it we have the we have to cut the external mics so you have to click here i closed that uh, audio devices and i kept the desktop audio open i am not closing this it is kept open now the audio is also ready okay then uh, it is ready for start streaming so i am clicking start streaming once i click start streaming it has already gone live this video is recording into obs also it is uh, you can see that uh, uh, these two tabs are has gone to stop uh, stop positions that means uh, the video is uh, recording into the obs software it will be available in your computer in under uh, the recorded short recording if you click the uh, button show recordings this video recorded will be uh, up here, uh, you can see the recorded videos so when we look into the youtube uh, you can see that um, it is live so this is the way we connect so now this video is live uh, after the webinar if you want to stop the video what you can do is uh, click the end stream or come to the obs and stop st click or stop streaming and click stop streaming now the video has stopped completely so that is the way we give live streaming of uh, google meet into youtube remember that this video will be appearing in uh, in your youtube channel after you stop the video so in short uh, these are the steps we have done open google meet window and keep it open so that is the first thing we have to do you have to keep the google meet window open then open the obs and create a scene and then under that scene we create a source so remember the source should be the uh, google meet so choose google meet window as the source uh, then uh, right click uh, the window and click uh, the transform button and then click the fit to screen so that uh, the, the so that the window will be uh, appearing entire space of the screen 
then lock the source by clicking the lock button right uh, just on the right side of the source so after uh, setting the obs uh, source uh, after after that we come to our youtube channel where we want to give the live streaming and then go to youtube studio if you are using your channel for the first time uh, they will ask for a verification and it will take 24 hours to verify your account and after that only you can after the verification only you can start the live streaming it is an on time process once you have verified your account it you can you can go live at any time uh, if it is a verified account you can click go live and then a new window will be appearing with a live streaming view and then copy the live streaming key by scrolling down you can see a live streaming key hidden and you can copy it from by clicking the copy button and then come back to obs uh, you have to paste the live streaming key into obs uh, we have to uh, we have to paste it in the uh, in the following way you have to click the file in obs go to settings in obs then you can see stream then you will see a blank space uh, for pasting your key then, and paste it there then click apply and ok so and uh, once you have done everything it is ready for uh, streaming um, before streaming you have to check whether your audio is coming uh, so for that uh, you check the audio button and click the start streaming then the youtube channel will recognize that uh, obs or the source uh, software streaming software has already started streaming and then automatically it will go live if it is not going live automatically you can see a go live button on the youtube channel click it then you, you will see that uh, it is live it is going live thank you